Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back to Football Manager. Um, just going to kind of start off with saying this has been kind of a rough week. Uh, you know, the things recently with my mom, that's uh, been going on. Uh, you remember my daughter was quarantined with COVID back right before Christmas. My wife's currently in quarantine uh, with COVID. Uh, looks like she may have gotten it visiting her mom and her sisters uh, over last last weekend. I'm recording this on Sunday morning. Uh, so, you know, in a situation dealing with my mom where I really could use her emotional support, she's, you know, you know we can't be around each other. So uh, that's been kind of double, uh, double jeopardy on me here. And uh, so it's been kind of tough. And then uh, the other day I had uh, reached out to somebody, I'm not going to mention any names, but, uh, you know, the, the close-knit, very supportive football manager community that we all know and love. Uh, I reached out with a question on hiring a editor to help me with editing and kind of spice up my videos and, and, you know, things like that. And I really just asked a couple of general questions you know, well, I was polite. I thanked the person in advance if they could give me any tips on, you know, in this area. And uh, they gave me some suggestions. Um, basically, the suggestion was uh, quit doing football manager and do something else or don't do YouTube. Uh, that was the suggestion. So, uh, yeah, so I've I've been dealing with that. And uh, honestly, you know, from me to you, I mean, you guys know. I always say, with me, you get real life. Uh, I have found it very difficult to do any recording this weekend. Uh, so right now, I don't think I'm going to have any episodes for our single team save to Graph Shop uh, up for this week. Uh, so I will take a week off from that, uh, which means we'll miss three episodes. Uh, as I said, usually I do my recording on Friday and Saturday, and then I spend all day Sunday rendering for the week because I work all week. Um, well, it's Sunday morning, and I haven't recorded a single episode, so I'm going to try to uh, get my heart back into it this morning and uh, record a couple of episodes for uh, the journeyman portion at least and get those up. and. You know, then I am going to be putting up a couple of uh, videos in a new series for Sim Airport. Uh, just change of pace, something a little light, a little fun. Um, so anyway, uh, hate to start this on a downer, but you know, I kind of got uh, kicked in the nuts by uh, by a big time uh, YouTuber uh, for Football Manager, and uh, it didn't feel good. Um, I don't mind constructive criticism, but, you know, to basically come out and say, you suck, stop doing it, uh, that was pretty rough. So uh, maybe I do, maybe I do. But uh, at the end of the day, I've always said, I get some enjoyment out of this. I enjoy playing the games. I don't mind doing YouTube. And you guys know how I got my start in YouTube. It was because of another YouTuber. Uh, while I was in the hospital with my son fighting while he was fighting cancer and this gave me an escape and if I can if I can you know bring half you know even two or three minutes of happiness to one or two people in the world uh, in an episode then you know then I've made a bigger impact in life than just sitting here at my house you know doing nothing so uh that's that's kind of where i have to keep my mindset and uh you know for you guys that are loyal viewers or new even if you're new if you if you're a viewer of my channel which this other person is not uh you know he made it very clear he had never heard of me and didn't know me from adam which is fine you know i don't think anybody knows every football manager youtuber but you know it's uh you know, I'm always open to, to suggestions uh, if you have constructive criticism. I think constructive criticism is very good. I use constructive criticism in my job all the time, but, you, you're, you, know, I, you know, I try to be supportive. Uh, I try to be positive, and then, you know, I'm always looking for ways to improve, though. So if you've got some ideas of things that I can do, how I can shake up the, the videos, you know, let me know. 
So anyway, let's get into some football today. Since the Gold Fest at Dresden, we uh, beat uh, Borussia Mogladbach 2-2 on penalties. And uh, we got goals, a, a brace from Robert Cernan, a 2-0 win over, uh, who is that, Vise Baden, 2-0, uh, Jack Hunter and Adrian Asliani with a 93rd minute penalty. And then we had another goal fest game against Leipzig, 5-4 uh, defeat, Robert Cernan with all four goals. And then they came back and scored a penalty in the 85th minute to equalize and an 89th minute game winner. Very, very heartbreaking. <laughs> we were up 3-2 at the half. Or, no, it was 3-3 at the half. I'm sorry, I forgot they got that penalty. Two penalties. Jeez, we just fell apart in that game. But we're going to be playing uh, Freiburg and Schalke today. So let me get the Freiburg game played. We'll take a look at the highlights, and then we will get to the Schalke match on camera. All right. Well, we ended up with a lot of shots in this match, but only put a few on target. So a little bit of a struggle. But there you see we got a penalty late in the match, 84th minute, and it was put in by Adrian Aslani. And that was the lone goal, 1-0 victory. Uh, so that was really good. And they're checking out Bubakar Sam. I don't think we've had any transfers. I haven't recorded this in just over a week, remember? So, uh, n yeah, nothing, nothing in October, November. So nothing to catch you up on there. Let's get back for the Schalke match here momentarily. All right, we are back. We're looking at Hunter and Cernan up top. Sam in the number 10. Paunovic, Takahashi, and Yopek on the in the mid. Bruger, Gunderson, Abbas, and Sahin on the back line. And Aaron Basic in goal for us. Do I want Hunter up there or would I like somebody else? I think I would like somebody else. He should not be a regular, regular starter up there. I think we're going to go with Robert Cernan. And Abbas is back in. Lacking match fitness. I believe he was injured, was he not? You guys probably remember. Let's pump the fist. Go out there. Make them look right. Still astounded at how big the stadium is here. This is our home stadium, of course. I like it. Taking on Schalke. I believe when we looked at this last, when it last season or before this season, we looked at the various levels, the various uh, top leagues, and they were they were down in the second division, were they not? Uh, Sam puts it into the box. Very nice set piece. Almost in. And it's cleared out. Big tackle by Ruger. Wow. He blew that up. All right. Ruger back in with the throw. I've been very happy with the way we've been moving the ball here. Uh, oh, look at the volley by Cernan, his ninth of the season. He was not off sides, was he? Oh, that was a beautiful ball. Let's see. Gunderson, Sahin. Look at that. Oh, just picked him out, and it came over his shoulder, and he picked it out of the air with a volley. That was brilliant. Three shots, one on target. And it goes in the net. He is a deadly finisher. And why my assistant manager is not putting him in the lineup consistently, I have no idea. Now, Jack Hunter is, is good. He's a good player. We probably would like him on the pitch, but in this particular tactic, uh, Ponovic, that was not good. He he recovers though. Um, he's he's a winger. He's more of a true winger, and there's nowhere in our tactic here for him in the current tactic we're playing. I could go back to. Now that still wouldn't wouldn't do anything. What about a uh, what about a four two three one with attacking wingers? Uh, and Rosemiro equalizes for Schalke. Some deft passing there. 
really deadly, cut us open. The only concern I have is we're not that good a side. You know, remember, we're supposed to be mid-table at best. I think that would be asking for trouble to bring two players into the more attacking zone. I don't know. We'll think about it. I've got to find a way maybe to get him on the field. Oh, he couldn't. Yopek just could not get across the face of the goal and could not get a step on that defender to get a shot. Good effort, though. Two shots, two on target for Schalke. That one goes deep into the box off the long throw. Always interesting to watch him try that one. Oh, man. So I hope you got... Oh, that was a good cross. little too deep. Cernan was there, but it was too close to the keeper. So how is your new year going? Hope it's been going well. Better than mine. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. 2021, all it was cracked up to be, you know, putting 2020 in the rearview mirror and all that other stuff. Here's a question. Have any of you guys gotten the uh, the vaccine? I don't want to get into a political discussion. Just uh, wondering, uh, you know, I know I know a lot of you guys that watch are from other countries. So just kind of wondering, you know, have you gotten another vaccine? Um, you know, are you... Uh, you know, what's your thought on it? Again, don't want to get political on it. Oh, we go over the top, and Cernan beats it past the keeper with a touch and slots it home. There might be a look. Was he offsides? Did he foul the keeper? Disallowed. Offsides. Damn. Wow, that was... Oh, no way. The lines were, that's, you can't call that offsides. Not when the line's flickering, man. Can't do that. Let's encourage them. Try to get them back in this match. Come on, boys. Takahashi, there's a through ball. Oh, and it just goes wide. Cernan looks dangerous, man. Very dangerous. Always nice when we can play that header. Oh, dropped into Cernan in the corner. Very good ball. And he pops it, goes out of play, corner kick. Wasn't it last match that we were, or the last couple of videos that they play it short every time? Okay, well, at least they did something different. Yopek was at the back post, but it goes just wide. We had another shot there. Cernan putting pressure on him. That's nice. Oh, Bruger misses it. Suarez is deep into the box. Good tackle by Gunderson to knock it away. Paunovich. He going to try to bring it all the way up? He does. Oh, there's a lay-in. Cernan beats his man. And then does an old lady play special right to the defender's legs. <laughs> oh, well. 1-1, one, one, 10 shots, 3 on target. Let's uh, take a look here at the tactic. I'm going to take off work into box. We're getting shots. Let's see if we can get a few more away and if that puts them on target. I don't know if it will. We'll give it a shot. Uh, I'm going to go hands in pockets, and we've been the better team. We'll do that. 1-1 one, one at the half. As far as for me, I, I haven't done the vaccine yet. I, uh, I'm just leery of it. Um, I've done a little bit of research, you know, you know, looking stuff up on the internet. There's actually a website that's government related that talks about vaccines. And it said that of all the vaccines ever created, all of them, the average duration from the inception, the, the moment you go, oh crap, we need a vaccine, right? To the point that you have a vaccine that is ready to inject some a human with 
is 14 years. Now, you know, I know a lot of that. One of my, one of my uh, friends, uh, we're on opposite sides of the aisle politically, but sh uh, she told me, she said, well, you know, we have you know, supercomputers and, and everything else. So back when they were doing, you know, the polio vaccine or, or, you know, whatever, they didn't have that. And they were doing a lot of trial and error and stuff like that. And uh, now you have supercomputers that can do it in fractions of the time. But I mean, our oh shit moment was last March, right? When it, when it first started might have even been into april here in america you know before it really got out of control let's uh, pull a couple of subs here so we've got yopex on a yellow and he's nervous let's bring on yab noon over there let's bring on let's see i want to see what they're playing abbas is not playing well He's lacking match fitness, but he but he's not playing well. So let's pull him off and let's put on let's put on Stover. Do I make the other one right now? Apprehensive. I think I'm gonna pull a triple sub. Let's bring do I want Coley on there? Let's look. Neil Coley, 24 years old. Yeah, we can do him. Alright. You know, but if the if our oh shit moment was March or April, right? and we're ready to start giving injections the following january we're talking less than a year you know we're talking nine or ten months from initial start oh come on you got to do better than that fellas to to human you know human usage and and you go okay 10 11 months 14 years I think I'm gonna let somebody else be the guinea pig here. You know, that's uh, that's my that's kind of my thought. <laughs> you know, because even if you get it, you can't go out. You still got to wear a mask. You're still at risk. You can still catch it. <clears throat> so I'm I'm just like I you know I'm gonna wait a little while. I mean, if it if it turns out you know that people aren't dropping dead from it, you know, and 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 I can see some positives, then I, I will. Oh, there's a big save by Conti goes up into the stands. We get a corner out of that. 15 shots, only six on target at 1.54 XG. We need, um, let's demand more. Strange, that stayed up for some reason. Hmm. Oh, Novich is tired. Takahashi is exhausted. Demand more again. Looks like that's not going to happen unless we can pull one right here. No, that one gets cleared out. And all over. So 17 shots to 7. 1.71 to 0 0.51 on the XG. But we settle for a draw. That's got to be a win for Schalke. Um, I'm going to point the finger. Not good enough. I agree. Media reaction is all right. Game one sided, dominated, absolute stinker. Well, 14 matches, few teams around us. Let's finish out the day so we can get a good look at the standings. I think we should have won that match. Looks like we played pretty well. I'm still having a problem with how much stuff cost in the Bundesliga. <laughs> uh, he wants to go out on loan. I'll discuss that with him momentarily. But yeah, we're in fourth position. Actually, no, nope, don't think we're done with the day yet. There we go. All right, now a lot of teams around us, but fourth position. Dusseldorf has a match in hand. Dortmund can catch us as well, but but we're doing well, right? We're almost two two points per match uh, on the Kev ratio, as Lelujo likes to call it. Uh, so that's good. All right, well, let's take off. I will play some more matches. We'll come back with another match. Uh, may not be as many as I would normally do because, as I said, I'm trying to play catch up. 
and I'm not recording this afternoon because there are two uh, football games on, American football and uh, championship games for each uh, each division and or each conference, and then the Super Bowl's in two weeks, so uh, that'll be coming up as well. Guys, thanks so much for watching. If you've been on the channel, even if it's for a day or two, you know, if you're a new newcomer or if you've been a long timer, I really appreciate the support from you guys, uh, the loyalty, and I appreciate you watching. And you guys are always welcome to give me any type of feedback, good or bad. I mean, if, if something's if something can be improved, I've never claimed to be perfect. Also, real quick shout out. Well, there's nothing real quick. We have had a few new subscribers. Uh, let's see. Gal Novak, Tommy R, Manganoid, welcome to the channel. Zilla Blitz, he's a fellow FM creator. Uh, I think he's in the uh, We Are the Community uh, thing, and that's how I've, I've seen his name before. Welcome to the channel, appreciate it. I think I've gone over to your channel and given you a return subscription. Uh, if I haven't, I will make sure to do that today. Guys, thanks so much for checking it out, and I will talk to you guys, well, for you, it'll be a couple of days. For me, I got to get playing some games here if I'm going to record another episode. Have a good one. Bye.